Welcome. As we stand on the threshold of another winter, it's clear that the upcoming season is not just another turn of the calendar, it's shaping up to be a period of remarkable uncertainty and change. As we look ahead, the winter of 2025-2026 is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable in years. Meteorologists and climate experts are sounding the alarm, pointing to a unique blend of atmospheric conditions that could bring everything from record-breaking cold to sudden, unseasonable warmth. Weather maps show a volatile setup, with everything from Arctic blasts to major snowstorms possible. The jet stream, which acts as a kind of atmospheric highway for weather systems, is expected to meander more than usual, opening the door for wild weather swings. The polar vortex is expected to wobble, sending frigid air deep into the US and creating dramatic temperature swings. This means that cities unaccustomed to deep freezes could suddenly find themselves in the grip of Arctic air, while others may experience rapid thaws. This means rapid shifts, one week could feel like midwinter, the next, a sudden thaw. Streets could go from icy and treacherous to slushy and wet in a matter of days, making it difficult for communities to keep up. The real story is the battle between cold northern air and milder southern air, fueling powerful storms. When these air masses collide, the result can be explosive. Think blizzards, ice storms, and even rare wintertime thunderstorms. Some regions will see heavy snow and ice, while others may face severe weather more typical of spring. Tornadoes and flooding are not out of the question, especially in areas where warm, moist air surges northward. The key word is unpredictable. Expect wild swings and surprises. One day you might wake up to a blanket of snow, and the next, find yourself reaching for an umbrella or sunglasses. This unpredictability means it's more important than ever to be prepared. Stock up on essentials before storms hit, and make sure you have supplies to last through power outages or travel delays. Now is the time to prepare. Winterize your home, seal up drafts, and protect your pipes from freezing. Simple steps now can save you from costly repairs later. Stock your car's emergency kit with blankets, food, water, and other essentials. Make sure your vehicle is ready for icy roads and unexpected breakdowns, and stay alert for weather updates. Sign up for alerts on your phone, and keep a battery-powered radio handy in case of power outages. In this video, we'll break down what to expect region by region, and explain the science behind this wild forecast. We'll look at the latest data, expert predictions, and what it all means for you and your family. From Midwest snow to Western drought, we'll cover it all. Each region faces its own unique challenges, and understanding these differences is key to staying safe. The coming winter promises to be a wild ride. Whether you love snow or dread the cold, this season will keep everyone on their toes. Staying informed will be your best tool. So buckle up, stay prepared, and let's dive into what makes the winter of 2025-2026 so extraordinary. The main driver this winter is the El Niño Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, which is expected to be in a neutral phase. Neutral doesn't mean calm, in fact it often brings the most unpredictable weather. Without a strong El Niño or La Niña, the jet stream becomes chaotic, swinging wildly and clashing air masses. This sets the stage for dramatic temperature drops, heavy snow, ice, and even severe storms. Forecast models show this classic neutral ENSO pattern, making long-range predictions tricky. Expect a little bit of everything, often in large doses. This neutral state is why meteorologists are bracing for a highly active and memorable winter. This winter's setup is strikingly similar to the brutal winter of 2013-2014. That year, repeated Arctic blasts and major snowstorms hammered the Midwest and Northeast, making polar vortex a household term. The quiet hurricane season then, as now, hints at atmospheric patterns favoring strong high pressure over the Arctic, perfect for pushing cold air south. Our forecast suggests a similar track persistent cold, frequent snow, and major disruptions. The lesson? Prepare for a winter that's not just colder but potentially severe and relentless. This winter, the United States will be sharply divided between regions of intense cold and areas experiencing unusual warmth. 
The country is set to become a patchwork of extremes, with weather patterns that could break records and challenge communities from coast to coast. In the Northern Plains, Midwest, and Ohio Valley, residents should brace for a return to frigid conditions reminiscent of the brutal winter of 2013-2014. Expect below average temperatures, frequent snowfalls, and the kind of biting wind chills that make even short trips outside a challenge. These areas could see prolonged cold snaps, with snow piling up and roads turning treacherous for days at a time. Meanwhile, the South and West, including Florida, Texas, and California, are likely to experience a very different season. Here, winter will feel more like an extended autumn, with warmer-than-average temperatures and drier conditions dominating the forecast. Outdoor activities may continue well into the season, but the lack of rain could bring its own set of problems. A persistent high-pressure ridge will act as a shield over the West, blocking cold air and storms from moving in. While this means milder weather for many, it also spells trouble for water supplies, as drought conditions are expected to worsen and reservoirs may drop to concerning levels. The Central Battleground Zone, stretching from the Central Plains through the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys, will be the epicenter of the most unpredictable and volatile weather. Here, residents can expect a roller coaster of conditions, heavy snowstorms, dangerous ice, and even the threat of severe thunderstorms, sometimes all within the same week. For those living in the north, the harsh cold will mean higher heating bills, the risk of frozen pipes, and the need for constant snow removal. Communities will need to stay vigilant to avoid winter hazards and keep homes safe and warm. In contrast, the west and south will face a different set of challenges. Drought and wildfire risks will rise, threatening crops, water supplies, and air quality. Residents may need to prepare for water restrictions and increased fire danger as the season progresses. One winter pattern but vastly different impacts depending on where you live. From snowbound neighborhoods to sun-soaked cities, the season's effects will be felt in unique ways across the country. No matter your region, it's important to stay informed and prepared for your area's unique winter challenges. Stock up on supplies, keep an eye on forecasts, and make a plan to stay safe and comfortable as the season unfolds. This winter, meteorologists are closely watching an active storm track that's expected to deliver above average snow and rain to large parts of the country. The Midwest, in particular, is bracing for frequent and intense winter storms, with snowplows likely to become a common sight on highways and rural roads. These storms will not only bring heavy snowfall, but also periods of freezing rain and sleet, making travel hazardous and daily life more challenging for residents. The Ohio Valley and the Northeast are also in the path of these powerful systems. Cities and small towns alike should prepare for significant snow accumulation, icy streets, and the possibility of school and business closures as winter weather intensifies. Expect classic snowstorms and dangerous ice events, with roads becoming treacherous and emergency services stretched thin during peak storms. Residents are urged to stock up on essentials and stay informed about changing conditions. These hazardous conditions will be especially severe, where cold Arctic air collides with warmer, moisture-laden air from the south creating a volatile mix that can lead to sudden blizzards or ice storms. The Northeast could see several powerful nor'easters, massive coastal storms capable of shutting down major cities, disrupting transportation, and causing widespread power outages that may last for days. Meanwhile, the Gulf Coast and much of the West Coast are likely to experience a very different winter, with conditions staying much drier than normal. This lack of precipitation will raise the risk of drought and increase the potential for wildfires, especially in areas already struggling with dry conditions. A persistent high-pressure ridge over the western United States will continue to block Pacific storms from reaching the coast, keeping skies clear but depriving the region of much-needed moisture. As a result, the vital mountain snowpack in the west will be reduced, threatening water supplies for millions and impacting agriculture and recreation. For those living in snowy regions, it's wise to plan for travel disruptions, flight delays, and the possibility of being stranded during major storms. In drier areas, communities should prepare for water shortages and consider conservation measures to get through the season. This winter's precipitation pattern will create distinct challenges across the country, from snow emergencies in the north 
to drought concerns in the south and west. It's not just about cold, how rain and snow are distributed will define the season, shaping everything from daily routines to long-term water resources. Winter isn't just about snow. This year, late autumn could bring a second severe weather season. The volatile jet stream may trigger tornado outbreaks in November and December, especially in the central and southern U.S. The Ohio, Tennessee, and Mississippi valleys are key risk zones, with states like Arkansas, Alabama, and Kentucky needing to stay alert. Past events like the November 2013 outbreak show how explosive these setups can be. Tornadoes can strike after dark or be hidden by rain, making them especially dangerous. Have a severe weather plan and stay tuned to alerts. This is yet another unpredictable twist in a wild winter. Even as winter approaches, the tropics are active. Hurricane Alberto, a powerful Category 4, is safely out in the Atlantic. The real concern was Tropical Storm Alda, which threatened the southeast coast. Early forecasts warned of catastrophic flooding, but the storm's track shifted east, sparing the U.S. from disaster. Alda will pass offshore, bringing large waves and dangerous rip currents to Florida and the southeast. Beach erosion and minor rain are possible, but the worst has been avoided. This close call is a reminder to stay vigilant during hurricane season. The ocean's power can still impact the coast, even without a direct hit. For now, millions can breathe a sigh of relief. Why did Alda's forecast change so suddenly? The answer, the Fujiwara effect. When two tropical cyclones get close, their circulations interact, like dancers on a floor. Hurricane Alberto's massive presence steered Alda east, away from the U.S. coast. Without Alberto, Alda might have drifted toward land. This rare atmospheric dance saved the southeast from disaster. Sometimes storms orbit or even merge, but this time, Alberto flung Alda safely out to sea. It's a powerful reminder of how interconnected and unpredictable our weather can be. As October begins, the U.S. faces wild weather swings, the southeast dodges Alda, while a dangerous heat wave builds in the central and eastern states, more like summer than fall. Meanwhile, storm energy gathers in the Rockies, bringing the first snows to the mountains and severe weather to the plains. This mix of heat, snow, and tropical activity signals a volatile season ahead. Every region faces unique threats, heat, storms, drought, or cold. Stay informed, check forecasts regularly, and prepare for rapid changes. The signs of a wild winter are already here. Being ready is your best defense as we head into the unpredictable winter of 2025-2026.